OK, I'm going to kick off today with Ross Lyon because Ooh. he seems to be the most succinct and honest in his answers. You spoke quite poignantly the other day on the Real Footy podcast about the 2009 grand final and occasional sleepless nights. What move did you make or not make that you still regret most of all? Not working... Two, two things. Uh, not working hard... Well, one thing. Not working hard enough to assist Lenny Hayes breaking his tag. Um, Bartel laid 20 tackles and really curtailed his influence after halftime. Thank you, Ross. Take note, Ed. Ed, should the Nine Network put its hand up and have a serious crack to bring to win back Friday night football? Oh, I AFL? think absolutely they should. It'd be great, if only to get another bidder in, in the marketplace. So if you're asking me from a football point of view, the more bidders at the auction, the better result you're going to get. Um, and as far as uh, uh, from a Nine point of view, that would be fantastic. Um, I work at Foxtel as well, so Foxtel do a great job. But so too to Channel 7. But you know you what, were doing Karen? really well till you gave Foxtel a plug, but no, no but, good but, answer. But the point with that is we're going to get to a stage, if it's not this time, next time, where there's going to be specific games that will be on different... And it might be on Amazon, it might be on Netflix, it might be on 7, 9, 10, whatever the case may be. I think we're going to see a spreading of it anyway. We want to keep it on free-to-air, obviously, because the anti-siphoning has to be. But uh, the answer is, yeah, the more bidders at the table... And football exploded... When nine got involved, 15... Thank you, Ed. I didn't need a media treatise, but quite good for you, quite honest. Thank you very much. Matthew, <laughs> Matthew, be honest here. Would you want your family at the hub? For eight weeks? I would, yep. don't think so. I don't think so, don't Well, you, you either have them or you don't. Uh, so. No, I actually discussed this with my wife today and she said it's your livelihood and as long as I've got some ho help at home... I'd be fine by that for you to go for as long as you need to go because it's your career. There's people marching yeah, in the streets but, but, at the but moment. We send like, kids back would, to school. You, would you, you rather have the choice? as a footballer yes, not have but it? Because of their schooling, they possibly couldn't come. Whose responsibility organise the help? Yours or the clubs? I think it's the players. I think I think the clubs, can, can are, I, clubs can, are looking at that right now. That into, Ed, if this happens, though, they're not going to go to the Bellagio. No. All right, so it's not exactly going to be, yes. you know, pina coladas at four o'clock in the afternoon. It's pretty tough. It's, it's a workplace. Or a Butlins tough. holiday camp, which we Very now know so. has got a lot to answer for because Does. it's the reason you're here. No, Butlins, Ed, no me. Ed, um, <laughs> is it right that Colin would have stopped paying rent to the Olympic Park Trust? Uh, yes, there's been a rent review, like everyone who's under, uh, who's got a lease. And, yeah, that's the situation at the moment. Hmm. Good on you. One more for you. Oh, I <laughs> <Rob, laughs> You do. There's a pattern emerging here. Did Steve Rossich get the sack because he backed you? I didn't sack him, so the people who sacked him, you'd have to ask them. You're pretty good at reading the play. What would no. You... Why did he? I don't know, Caroline. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, there, but there, he there was, was a fully view supportive. That, there was a view that he hitched his I thought it was a yes or, or no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, he clearly thought I was performing. And at the last board meeting after the Western Bulldogs, it was a bad loss. Uh, the board meeting on the Monday, which I stayed for, my understanding is he, he wanted me to coach. Can I slip one in here, Kerry? Before you got sacked, how many weeks beforehand did you feel that it was coming? <clears throat> Good question. I, I thought I was... I always thought I was going to get sacked. Every, every week I coached, so that's why I coached like the way I did. Uh, at 6'3", I thought I was comfortable. 6'3", I thought I was comfortable. I thought... I, actually, this is a true story. Were we you 6'3", were playing... in your last yeah. season? Yeah. Let's oh, OK. I want to hear this answer. Beat GWS. I can go through sorry, it. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, go uh, on. What? The first time uh, we played Geelong, we were an incredibly weakened team. I think eight of our best 22 out. Geelong off a rest, full of confidence. And I said to my family, you should not come today. Today's not going to be a good day. And for the, they didn't... I said, I don't want you to come. And we actually went out and we actually upset Geelong. But... Yeah, I, I'd, I'd had the vibe from there. Mm. OK, no, good answers, Never Matthew. Know. You tried to hijack my segment, but Steve, fair enough. Steve Rossage's uh, loyalty may well get repaid. Who knows where he's headed.